Hi guys. I'm still at my mum's. I just thought I'd give you a little update. Um, she's having good days and bad days. I'm still staying over with her to make sure she's all right. And uh, I've had to ring the doctor again this morning because she's not been feeling great. We think she's got another uh, water infection. So doctor's sending her some um, antibiotics and they want to do a sample. But uh, yeah, she's she's she had a great day yesterday we had a lovely mother's day my sister came she'd done all the savory stuff my, my daughter came emma with my other daughter couldn't come she were going to leeds for a conference we work um my sister brought all like sausage rolls and stuff like that and sandwiches and her partner si came and uh, my daughter emma brought some savory stuff and max's girlfriend laura came with emma Max were working, and uh, yeah, we had a we had a lovely afternoon tea. Mum managed a shower, and she got changed, got into her clothes, and she looked really nice. And she had a really good day. But by tea time, she was flagging a bit, so she went to bed. But she's been up at night, and she's been she's quite poorly today, so she's in bed. Um, she don't want to be bothered having a shower today. So I hope everybody had a lovely Mother's Day. We did, it was lovely. I got some lovely gifts. I got a Costa voucher, which we all know I love a Costa. I got um, a box of chocolates and some two beautiful cards and a lovely love art for Mum that I'm going to hang on my Christmas tree. It's a Christmas ornament. But I've hung it on my drawers at home, on the handle of my drawers for now, but it's going on my Christmas tree at Christmas. And uh, I got a beautiful um, spike for my garden with a slate heart with a picture of me and Elaine, my sister-in-law, that passed away a few weeks ago. She was, she was more like my sister than a sister-in-law, really. She... I've missed her so much. It's really hard. Um, and I did cupcakes. I did the cherry bakewell cupcakes. I did the lemon cupcakes. And I did the scones. And that's, if you remember, I froze the scones the other day. Then I um, got them out and defrosted them. in Not in the microwave or anything. I just let them defrost on their own. And then when we had them yesterday afternoon, I warmed them up slightly in the microwave and we had clotted cream and jam with them. They were absolutely delicious. So you can't beat and scones. Really good. And the people that have tried them, thank you for trying the recipe and enjoyed them. And what about Big Brother? Now then, because it was the Oscars last night, I was a bit disappointed because I thought, oh, Big Brother must not be on. Anyway, I didn't realise, so I watched something else. I'm not interested in the Oscars. So this morning I got up early at Mum's and I thought, I'll just see if it were on last night. And to my great surprise, it had been on. So I watched it this morning. Oh my God, I am so sorry, but Louis just makes me laugh so much. It, it, it really, I laughed out loud when he said um, about Gary going and he went, it was the right decision. It was the right decision. Yep, it was the right decision. And he just reminded me of what he was like on X Factor. I do like him. I like him and Sharon, if I'm honest. And I absolutely loved the shopping task. I thought it was brilliant. And I think David and Zizi did a really good job of keeping it hidden that they were the two bad cops. David really took it to heart. He grabbed it and ran with it, didn't he? I think he's great. He's growing on me, is David. Zizi were, were nice and oh, she, I think she's growing on me a bit as well. And uh, I saw her mum on uh, Late and Live later on. She's a nice, she's looked a nice lady as well. Yeah, I don't think there's anybody really that's really getting on my nerves. Only Gary and he's gone. Oh, Lauren, I'm not keen on Lauren. She took her role very seriously, didn't she? No, I'm not keen on her. <laughs> I loved how serious David took it about being the bad cop. And when um, 
Levi and Bradley were carrying that body, carrying that body into secret room and it all fell apart and they still didn't realise it weren't the same bloody body. But I'm so glad they all passed. And what about Sharon calling... She's calling everybody, isn't she? She's calling um, Donald Trump. She doesn't like Donald Trump. I don't think anybody does really, do they? I used to quite like him, but not anymore. Um, what else happened? Not a lot, really, last night, did it? Louis went for his nap. Well, he's getting old, isn't he? He has to have a nap. But I think the casting of... Louis and Sharon has been amazing. I'm so pleased ITV got them to him. I really like them. Let me... And tonight, I don't know if you saw Late and Live last night, but I've watched it this morning. Um, she's, she's, Sharon's calling um, Danny Minogue and saying how... She, she didn't like her, but um, as soon as the cameras were rolling and curtains went back, she got hold of Danny's hand and she shoved it up at her and said, like, like this. She said, ah, oh, there's a lot of fake, a lot of fake, which we knew, we knew there were a lot of fake, didn't we? That's how they put these shows together, just make out the good friends. I just love Sharon giving us all the inside and insight into people like Simon Cowell and what have you, Simon can't keep friends well, no but I do, I love it who do we think who do you want to go next I would like uh, if I'm honest I think I'd like to see um, Lauren go next I've not really taken to Lauren um, but yeah, I think I'd like Lauren to go next. I think she, I, uh, I think she might be up, but then again, I have been wrong before. I'm likely to be wrong again. But there's so many nice ones. I like Nikita. I like Bradley. I like Sharon and Louie. I love Fern. Fern's got to come into her own yet, and she she's not really done a lot. She does a lot of cleaning, but. Uh, no, I think the stars of the show for me are Sharon and Louie. But I don't think I'll get any baking done today. I'm going to nip home in a minute, do a few jobs that I have to do there. I need to go and get mum a new kettle. I got up this morning, a bloody kettle weren't working. I've had to boil water in a pan for a brew. So she said I can go and get her a new kettle. Last of the big spenders. <laughs> No, she's great, my mum with money. She's fantastic. But hopefully, fingers crossed, she'll get these antibiotics and they'll perk her up again. And she'll be back to her usual self. Thanks for watching, guys.